there will be no sunrise today. Uh, I'm pretty sure the sunrise was about 40 minutes ago, but um, it's quite cloudy today. So right now the fog is kind of lifted, but I walked through the night and it was a wild night. I pretty much was in fog the whole time. Um, not mental fog, although some of the videos I left, I don't know if what I was saying was clear or not. Um, hopefully this will be clear though. Um, I'm not by one now. I just got off 537, so I thought it was safe to make a video. Um, there's a lot of houses for sale on both 537 and, and the route before that. So I'm not sure if that's higher than normal, if that's because people just want out, they don't want to be on 537 anymore. But, um, the, um, and I'm on the route right now. This is 537, it's probably half a mile behind me, three quarters of a mile behind me. Um, and I believe this stretch minus a part where the pipeline takes a jog uh, back west, south, east and then back onto this road um it's pretty much a straight shot until the military base area where then the pipeline route gets different so um uh, all right so i wanted to talk about real estate basically my thoughts are that uh people probably on a higher than average when there's something going to be built um, and they have a few years warning they try and sell their property and they're not going to be the ones that are going to put up signs and try and fight the the pipeline at least in a super meaningful way they're just going to try and sneak out and bend their house on somebody else so they might even encourage their neighbors to oh yeah i could just look in here this is like my rear view mirror um so i could see if cars are coming it's a cool thought um so I don't have it anymore. But, um, yeah, so I'm thinking that it's awesome doing this. <laughs> um, that that could be an effect that could end up helping uh, the pipeline companies is that the, that people get scared and don't join the barricades, get on the barricades and fight against this thing, but instead try and sell out and actually uh, thwart some of the efforts to rally around the pipe. So I'm not an expert on real estate, but I'm sure that this is going to decrease property value, at least during construction. Um, and then afterwards, you know, like highways become the new normal um, and people just get used to them. The pipeline could become the new normal and people just get used to it. Doesn't mean it's good at all. I'm Carlos Carlos because I'm trying to denaturalize. Um, I forgot I could, I could look to denaturalize cars and realize that they are very destructive, very problematic. The frequencies cars emit when they fly by um, are quite problematic. So here I'm going to flip it around and show the road I'm about to enter onto, which looks freaking busy. So I'm going to really have to pay attention in a minute. Um, but yeah, so that was just a thought and I'm going to be running a fair amount because I'm a bit behind. I lollygagged in the fog at night and, um, just, a, it was kind of an adventure and I wasn't walking the whole time. I did do some resting as well. So anyways, um, this is the pipeline route. It enters onto, I can't remember the name of this road, but this road, it looks like this road or one that is almost parallel to it that takes the pipeline all the way south till it heads eastward towards the military base and um, Lakehurst and then ultimately to wherever it is, ends in Manchester. So I'm probably not going to go to the end first in Manchester all the way. I'm going to do as far as I can until I'm blocked by the military base and the Superfund site and then I'm going to make the most direct route to the Ocean County freeholder meeting uh, where hopefully a substantial number of opponents to Avery say get Avery out freeholders do the right thing and 
make a statement against this pipeline because getting Avery out is not just getting one of the 15 people that are not are in favor of the pipeline out it's also symbolic um, and could be a momentum shift uh, kind of the way I guess congressional inter uh, not presidential but the 2018 2022 those ones can sh shift the momentum even if you don't reclaim it. But I'm not crazy about representative politics. Um, I think the people have more direct power. Pipelines and corporations would never have as much power as they had. But I'm digressing again, although I think it is part of the battle. Um, but yeah, so this is pipeline route two. Um, and, you know, who wants a pipeline here? We already... New Jersey's built up enough. We don't need to become a state suited for exporting uh, dangerous natural resources. All right. I'm going to end that here. Thank you for listening. I'm looking forward to doing some videos with other people. I noticed that I talk a bit more naturally when people are around. Now I'm just talking to a camera, talking to myself. Uh, I don't want to get too used to it. But I know somebody will at some point listen to some of this. So, so hi, whoever you are, whenever you are. All right, and bye. Adios.